You can look expensive, but not spend a ton of money. It does take a bit of time to sort of curate these outfits and go to the thrift store, but it's definitely possible. I'm in the process of elevating my style. I wouldn't say that I don't know how to dress, but I definitely think there's a difference between knowing how to dress and knowing how to really style yourself. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my process and sort of five step plan to elevate my style, but I wanna make sure I'm doing it as sustainably and as mindfully as possible. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Janu, and I talk about all things mindful and sustainable living, and I'm so happy you're here today. Okay, so the first step is to get inspiration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Pinterest, just spend a little time on Pinterest, saving to you can do a private board of all the photos and inspo that you like so as you can see this is my pinterest board i've always been the type of girl that likes neutrals black white brown i think they just go with everything i think pretty much anyone looks good in these colors and i think having clothes that mix and match make it so that you don't have excess clothing because everything goes with each other so you don't need you know to worry about wearing a shirt or, or a jacket just with one outfit because it's gonna go with so many things, which is gonna help reduce and minimize your closet. In terms of my style, I have more of a minimalist, chic, as you can see, neutrals. I think I'm going for like a more of like old money style. And what I see here is like a lot of like just basics, but then I feel like they're elevated through accessories. So that's definitely something I'm making note of, but a lot of these clothes that are here can be easily mixed and matched, and which is what we are going for. And another thing for me is I love natural fabrics like cotton and linen. I think they just lay really nicely and environmentally wise. <laughs> I think it's better as well. So I always try to find natural fabrics if possible. So after having my Pinterest board and laying out my inspo, obviously I can see the looks that I'm going for. What I'm gonna do is start by choosing a few of these outfits and putting them in Pinterest. So step number two is mapping out the outfit. So as you can see, this is my Pinterest. So I laid them out all on different pages. I don't want to go too crazy, but a lot of these actually go with each other. So I don't have to be too concerned about having too many pieces of clothes. So as you can see, this outfit right here is just a white tank, a belt, and some white pants. I already have a cropped white top. So that's good. I don't have these like white slack pants where you can put a belt. I do have linen pants that I recently thrifted, but I would like to have a pair of slack pants like this. And as you can see, she has like the sunglasses and also the earrings. Cause I feel like if you took those elements away, it wouldn't be as elevated. So I'm definitely making note of the jewelry as well and laying that out. And as you can see here, I love this sort of linen set with the vest. Um, I like the shorts and the pants and what I love about Pinterest is it makes it so easy to find inspiration because even for my apartment, like everything I did, I started with Pinterest first. So as you can see here for this outfit and you have like this colored bag that sort of matches and lots of gold, just very simple, but this is another look that I'm going for. And then as you can see here, a lot of these basically look the same. I have a jean skirt that I recently thrifted and I also have jean shorts. And the rest is just like tops. So I have a white crop top. I have a black, actually have a black crop top as well. But I think what's again, elevating these looks is just having those little bits of accessories. So I think sunglasses will definitely help to elevate that. But a lot of this I can actually probably find in my closet if I put it together. One of the things I really wanna do is kind of have like my go-to uniform. So I'm not thinking every day, like what do I wear to go out and look cute? Like maybe you have your go-to cold weather outfit, your go-to um, warm weather outfit, your go-to date night outfit, just so you know, so you don't have to, you know, spend forever trying on a million different things. And as you can see this outfit here, these pants can be the same pants as you see here and just a sort of neutral sweater top. I think this could be good when it's a little bit chilly outside, but also the sweater could be a good, nice, like, you know, put over the shoulders type thing too, if you wore like a white crop. So this could actually, the sweater could actually go well with this outfit and put it on top. It's like a warm sweater <laughs> to put over your shoulders. But again, it's like that hint of gold and like the sunglasses and the bag and shoes. This skirt I actually already have. And I also have a white crop top 
and I would like some brown sandals of sorts. So maybe that's also on the list too. And then here I actually have some white linen pants that are recently thrifted. I do have black sunglasses and I do have a black crop top. I would love one that looks like this, but I think the one that I have now works perfectly fine. This, I do have like faux leather pants. I have a nice black bag, um, but I don't have an oversized shirt or sweater. So that's something I would love to add. I'm also still trying to figure out shoes. Like I've never really had loafers before, um, but we're trying to, you know, level up and find different ways to elevate our style and try different things. I feel like to elevate your style, you have to be willing to try different things and look a little crazy sometimes. And we know what we're gonna be looking for for items in my closet as well as buying them. And here is another outfit. I do have a pair of black pants from Quince, but what I don't like is that they don't cover my belly button. So if I were to wear a crop with it, I feel like it's too much stomach out. So I would love to find a pair of maybe like linen pants or just like black loose pants slacks that are high waisted because I do have this black crop. I do have a black bag. I do have black sandals. I don't have a button down. Um, so that can definitely be something that I get as well. And I feel like you can easily find a button down at a thrift store. And then this outfit, I actually have a sweater that already looks like this. So that's great. I have a black crop. I have a black bag. I already have black sandals. I think the only thing in this one would be black shorts. I do have a pair of sneakers too. And I really love this look too. I feel like she just looks expensive and it's not just because her handbag is expensive. I really think it's just the accessories. It's like her hair slicked back. She has the sunglasses on, the nice gold earrings and a nice sleek belt. Um, so I think it's just piecing all these things together. I really like this outfit. I like stripes too, but again, I think I need to try on the stripes because I feel like it might make me look a bit wide, which we don't want. But it's good that some of these things I already have in my closet and I'm sure a lot of the outfits that you're going for, you're probably already have in your closet too. You just need to figure out how to put them together. But I think laying them out in Canva is really, really helpful. And this outfit I thought was really cute. I do have a skirt that's similar to this, but I think that with like the gold bangles is cute, but again, a nice button down. So this button down can be the same as this button down, um, but you can put this with a white skirt, which would be really, really cute. And I don't own a white handbag. I would love to get a white handbag. Of course, I'm just scared of it getting dirty, but a white handbag is definitely next on my list. And here again, like I could have that same striped top from here that goes with the black shorts. And I have linen pants, so that's great. And then I love how she paired this bag with it. And that's the same vibe of a bag as this one so that could all fit with that i already have like my go-to black bag and like a small neutral bag um but would love to have a um maybe a white bag or a bag that looks like this and then this outfit is sort of similar to this one i have my staple pair of jeans that i wear all the time i have a pair of jeans from everlane i got them tailored to my waist because my Hips are like a size bigger than my waist, so my waist is smaller. So I got them tailored, and getting your clothes tailored is one of the best things you can do. I feel like what also elevates your look and makes you look more expensive is when your clothes actually fit you properly. So you can go and get them tailored, but one of my goals this year is to also learn how to sew and to mend my own clothes, because I feel like a lot of times we have like little holes in something and we don't know what to do with it because we may not know how to sew, but if you actually know how to repair your clothes, you can make them last a lot longer and you're saving money. But here I have a sweater that I recently thrifted that is white. I feel like a nice like structured white sweater um, kind of gives that expensive look. And again, she has like the earrings and the sunglasses. And here I really like this look. I have beige pants from Reformation, but I never put them with a belt. I like don't really own belts, but recently thrifted a belt. So I'm gonna put that with the belt the black top, um, I have black shirts, and then I would love to find like a structured black jacket. I think this is like, they all kind of mock like the Chanel jacket that is like structured. So it's good that I'm not starting from complete scratch and I do have a lot of items already that I can start building my ideal wardrobe with. So number three is to shop your own closet before you go out and buy new clothes. So as you can see, I have this skirt here, which goes with this outfit that I'm trying to recreate. And then I, of course, have this black crop top, which goes with so many of the outfits I'm trying to recreate as well. 
and I have this cardigan which goes with this black on black outfit that I want to create too. So oftentimes we go out and buy a ton of clothes, but we have a lot of key staples already in our wardrobes. And number four is to thrift the rest. In an effort to save money and to reduce waste, I try to shop secondhand as much as possible. One tip for finding good secondhand clothes is to go to a thrift store that's in a rich area because more than likely they're gonna be dropping off their clothes to that local donation center. So you're probably gonna find more expensive and better quality items. You can also look online at places like Depop, Facebook Marketplace, but for me, I like to go in and actually see the clothes, feel the clothes, sort of try it before I buy it. The only thing about when you buy things online from resellers is usually you can't return and you can't try before you buy it so you don't know if the clothing actually fits. I prefer that for more of like handbags and things that don't necessarily have to have a fit when I buy secondhand online, but would highly recommend checking out your local thrift store that's in a bougie part of town. So I'm gonna show you a few items that I recently thrifted to go with my new elevated look, and I'm gonna break down the prices of them as well. And I think it's good to note that you can look expensive, but not spend a ton of money. It does take a bit of time to sort of curate these outfits and go to the thrift store, but it's definitely possible. All right, so first up is this cardigan. This was actually 50% off of the red price tag. And this is supposed to go with this outfit and this look I can put with jeans. And it looks really chic, really classy. I feel like it definitely makes me look more expensive. I also found this coat for $17.99, that's Banana Republic. And it's so cute, it's practically new, and it's just so chic. I love neutral color coats. This is just gonna go with so many of my outfits, and I can't believe it was only $18. <laughs> Next piece of clothing I found was a steal, so I got these for $7.99, and I looked up the brand, which I'd never heard of, and their pants go for like $500, and I only had to pay $8, that's so crazy. But it's supposed to go with this outfit right here, but these linen pants can literally go with anything. There is a small hole um, near the crotch area, but I was like, I can easily sew that. But these are such a great find. They fit me really well and they came in petite. And then these pants weren't on the list, but I had to get them. They were 50% off and they're just so cute and green. I feel like green is definitely one of my new colors that I've been liking, but again, these came in petite. These are Ann Taylor. They fit me really, really well, and these are gonna be great for the spring and summertime. Number five, I think, is finding key accessories that mix and match. So I've been slowly adding to my collection. I have a couple rings. This one's from a jury. This one I got um, from a campaign I did with Pandora, and this is actually a lab-grown diamond. And then the, this one is also from a jury. And then this one, I can't remember the name of the brand, but it's a black owned brand and it's like sustainable metal. Um, but I wear these all the time. I also need to get my nails done. I feel like getting your nails done <laughs> also elevates your style. Having like a necklace um, and having like a couple of go-to earrings. I feel like what really does elevate your style is having those accessories because a lot of the outfits I showed you, like I feel like they look expensive, but what makes them expensive looking versus just basic is those accessories and i think it's also the way that you carry yourself it's you know doing your makeup well i feel like it's a you have to take a holistic approach to looking expensive you have to like feel good you got to take care of your skin your hair like you have to present yourself well but again you know do whatever works for you this is what i'm doing i'm going to come back and do another video that's like my updated um, maybe like capsule wardrobe. Let me know if you would want to see that. Cause I think it's really important to share with people that like you can have a great style, whatever that might look like for you, but you don't have to spend a ton of money. So it's also just shopping your closet, seeing what's already there before you go out and start buying things new, I think is key. Like really do a clean out, see what things you've worn, see what things you haven't worn. And if you really haven't worn something in the wild, maybe it's time to donate it or upcycle it in some sort of way. And also another thing when you're thrifting, like don't just buy a Forever 21 t-shirt when you're thrifting because 
chances are like that shirt's gonna only last you so long. Like find fabrics that are like linen or silk or heavy and you know are like sturdy and are, are good quality fabrics that are gonna last you because the whole point in creating a you know minimalist long lasting wardrobe, sustainable wardrobe is buying things that are actually going to last and you're not gonna have to throw away soon. So look for those and natural fabrics. Look at even the name brand of the clothing. So when I go to thrift stores too, another tip is maybe you don't know the brand and maybe you see something and I'm like, oh, and like this kind of looks expensive. And then you can Google it and see how much these pants, for example, would be worth. Like the pants that I, I'll put a video of me showing the pants, but the these pants I got at the thrift store, they were on sale, they were 50% off. So they were like $4. And I looked up the brand and their pants go from $500 to $800. So I literally got a pair of $800 linen, beautiful pants that actually fit me perfectly because they're petite for only $4, which is amazing. So again, you do have to take the time to kind of go through the racks. But I think if you go into the thrift store knowing what you're looking for, that makes things a lot easier. You're like, okay, I need a pair of white jeans. So you go to the jeans section, you find the white ones versus just like mindlessly going through the thrift store. It can be definitely overwhelming. I feel like that's one of the reasons why for so long I didn't want to thrift because going to a thrift store where there's just all these racks is just like, it's a lot going on. But if you go to the right ones, it can be a really great way to find wardrobe staples that are going to last you. Start sharing some of these outfits in my Instagram stories. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram as I am working towards elevating my style to be more minimalist, old money, sleek, but simple and easy, I think is key. I just need things. I just need those outfits that are go-to where I can look expensive, but you and I know that, you know, we did it for cheap. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you would like to see more videos on this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.